Victoria is so sure that she's going to make it to the end of this game. I've got news for her. The boys don't want her there at all. They are ready for her to go. Unless she wins the next HOH. Which probably won't happen because she's been screwing up every other competition. And I found out why. Because Derek told her to screw up the competitions and he would carry her along. Unfortunately, Derek is about to cut ties. So hey guys, this is Sage Valentine and this is my review of... CBS's Big Brother season 16 episode number 34. So Cody feels like the odd man out because he's on the block. And he realizes that he's at the bottom of the alliance. Of course he is because he was in a showmance with Christine. And now that Christine's gone, it's about time to get rid of Cody next. Sounds about right. And yeah, that's the formula that usually happens in Big Brother, which is why I am anti-showmance. I will never be pro-showmance. I'm always anti because somebody always gets hurt in a showmance. Every year something happens. Every year. Romances like Jeff and Jordan and Brendan and Rachel were not showmances because they actually lasted. So... Cody is basically talking to Caleb and he's asking him, like, listen, bro, will you let me know if I'm the target and I'm going to go home? And Caleb's like, oh, yeah. But, you know, I also had, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about, you know, putting you out a couple weeks ago or last week. Caleb, shut up. Stop talking. And... Everybody's feeling unsafe as far as that silver button. Caleb has some alien invasion. Cody's them locked in the room and some other eating each other. They have to live there till they die. Just wild imaginations. So we get to the veto competition and Frankie wins the veto. He wins it, I guess. I think he's got five minutes and something because everybody else was taking their sweet time and Frankie was like just as calm as he possibly could but he or maybe it's the way that it was edited but it seemed like he was just getting through and everybody else was slowing down and Caleb of course was sidetracked by Amber because Amber is his albatross so and Caleb's afraid of clowns why am I surprised about that ridiculous and he couldn't even recognize his own eyes I said Caleb Dear Lord. So Frankie, in Derek's eyes, has been a threat for a while. And by winning this veto, he solidified himself as a top contender. I already said that Frankie was a top contender. That's why I said Frankie should have gone home a long time ago. But everyone else was into the whole Zacky thing. And I thought it was cute. But I feel like that sidetracked everybody from what Frankie was doing. And I'm still mad at him for getting Zach out. That was horrible. So Frankie is wavering as to what he should do. Should he keep the nominations the same? Because if he does, then it may come back to bite him in the butt. Then you have Derek lying to Victoria like, oh yeah, you're safe. Victoria, you are not safe. Frankie's going to show loyalty to the group. That's what he tells Derek. He's not going to use the veto. He's not even sure. Derek tells him, well, Frankie, you're more likely to go home next week. Says who? Frankie's the dude who won nine competitions. All jokes aside, Derek, you've won three. Whether that's on purpose or not, I have no clue, but you've won three of them. Frankie is the top contender at this point to win. So the house is stinky, it's smelly. The house guests have to clean it all up. And America gives Team America the mission to convince the house guests that there's a rat in the house. And Cody's freaked out, Victoria's screaming, and Caleb is gung-ho about catching this rat that does not exist and they end up staying up till about 6.15 or 6.45 in the morning. And Victoria says that the boys are wimps. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, <laughs> Frankie's considering what he should do with the veto. He realizes that he's won nine competitions. Caleb has won five competitions. And.
won, Derek has won three, Cody has won three, and Victoria has won one. And he's just like, listen, if you if these people want to beat me or they want to win, they are going to have to beat me in a competition because they're not going to win. And he's 100% correct. So he's wavering back and forth. They get to the nomination meeting or the veto meeting. The veto nomination meeting. Dear Lord, the veto meeting. And to make a long story short, he decides not to use it. But not before Caleb has this little thing where Cody has this little thing where he says, Oh, well, you know, I don't want you to use this veto. Then you'll take me down and put one of my comrades up here. Blindly optimistic. Or should I say blindly loyal to a group that seriously wants you gone. Victoria's like, don't use the veto, but congratulations, but don't use the veto on me. Victoria, you are so transparent. So, of course, Frankie decides in the end, I'm not using that veto. Cody's feeling bad. He's like, I could have backdoored him last week. You could have backdoored that guy weeks ago. No, it was the detonators, the bomb, the bomb squad, final five. And Miss Victoria still thinks she has a chance. Nope. But you get an A for effort and trying. Too bad. <laughs> well... Technically, she does have a chance. Let me stop. She does have a chance because that button's going to reset the game. And Derek has a feeling about that because he's playing his game so that if things change in the house, then he is safe. So, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Sage Valentine signing off. Don't forget to rate this video, comment, and subscribe to my brand of crazy also check out my reviews for the walking dead big brother and under the dome so until next time you all take care sage valentine here if you have any questions anything at all about big brother leave it at the bottom i love you all bye guys bye <laughs>